What's up guys, it's your boy Jalen here on another episode of Elevated Minds and today's episode is going to be called Life is an Algorithm. Y'all know what an algorithm is? It's like a program and you know how the algorithm works on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. Things that you pay attention to, the things that you watch the most, the things that you hit that like button on, the things that you comment on, the algorithm is paying attention to all this, right? Algorithm is following everything that you're doing and guess what it's going to do? because of what you're putting out it's gonna also put that right back in front of you so every single thing that we like every single thing we pay attention to share they're gonna start sending us more content that's like that content does that make sense so everything that's in our feed today is due to what we are paying attention to what we choose to be in our feed the types of people that you follow whatever they stand for is going to be posted on your feed if that goes against what you believe in you're gonna have to look at that in a different standpoint everything we put out into the world we're just like the algorithm that we have on instagram and TikTok and facebook and youtube it's the same way in life every single thing that we pay attention to every single thing we put out into the world is going to come back to us the the life that we see whether it be good or bad is through the perspective of what we see it's through the perspective of the lens that we're looking through does that make sense so basically what i'm saying is if you're having a bad life if you're having a really rough time in life you really need to take a second to think about it take a second to think about it is this my doing the things that I'm experiencing, the hardships that I'm dealing with, did this really come from my decisions? Did this come? Did this really come from the people that I have around me, and the types of things that I'm, I'm choosing to do, my habits, the things that I'm watching, that I'm programming my mind with? You got to start looking at it from that perspective, because life is really going to send you back every single thing that you're paying attention to, that you're giving energy to, that you're portraying. It's interesting when life mirrors these things like they might bring people in our lives that we might find annoying a lot of times they're the things that we find annoying is the things that is like a mirror of us something that we have going on inside of us that mirrors something in them that makes you angry you know it's, it's like a trigger almost the main thing is what i'm saying is we got to look at it in the sense of whatever you decide to do every single day, whatever actions you take, whatever thoughts you choose to have, whatever things you just do, whatever people you decide to surround yourself with, every single thing that you do is gonna come back. So re if you look at it like that, think about all your, your Instagram and stuff. What is your Instagram filled with? For a while, mine was only filled with like party stuff, thick women just twerking in their thongs and stuff like that. That's the type of stuff I had on my Instagram. Stuff that doesn't mean me any good. And when I changed my algorithm, I started to get different things. Travel stuff, things that make me want to go hike and, and be out in nature. Business stuff, that stuff is going to get me motivated on my business and making money. People around me being good you know having good friends like stuff that's promoting love and you know joy and prosperity and happiness like this is the type of stuff i'm following now and my mindset changed because my algorithm changed my mindset is what made the algorithm change because now that my mind is operating differently now i'm going to start doing different things i'm going to start surrounding myself around different people i'm going to start changing my habits up for whatever goals that you want you got to start doing different habits how you do that Sometimes you have to get from where you are, from this perspective, and you gotta start looking in a different lens. That's the thing, a lot of people are stuck in looking in the same lens that they've looked through since they were like 17 years old. It's like, you're 30 now, you're 40 now, you're 25 now, you know what I'm saying? You gotta start looking through a different lens, and that, and that comes self-growth. Self-growth, personal growth, personal development. You gotta keep getting better. You gotta keep learning. You gotta learn to dig into that trauma that you have. These things are holding us back. The lens that we're looking at life through is all determined by our traumas, by things that we are experiencing internally. We gotta change the inside before we can change the outside. So the internal algorithm has to change before the outside algorithm changes. Does that make sense? So my message for y'all today is just make sure that you understand 
make sure that you understand every single thing that's going on in your life is due to something that you've done or choices that you've made so in other words you really have to start taking some responsibility really monitor what you're doing monitor your habits monitor your thoughts monitor the people that you have around are are the people around you just gossiping and hating on people and just like you know don't know how to be happy for people and you know don't want to see somebody else doing better than them or you know just downing everybody else like is that the type of people that you're around people that just only want to party and don't want to better themselves there's nothing wrong with partying but if that's all they're doing guess what you're going to be number you know if you have a group of five you're going to be number six it's just the way it is all these things change our mindset changes the algorithm because you start to move differently so you can change your algorithm from moving in anger and moving in hatred and moving in gossip and moving in envy and moving in depression and moving in anxiety and sadness instead of moving in that you can move in joy you can move in happiness you can move in peace you know what i'm saying you can move in goodness and kindness you can move in all these other higher frequency emotions and, and states of mind and that's what this is all about we're trying to elevate our minds raise our consciousness become better people because i believe that your quality of life is determined by your relationships that's it's so true a woman just told me that quote and that's it's so true your relationships that you have in life really dictate what your life quality is going to be like so think about that the people that you surround yourself with all your relationships your friends your mate like your, your romantic relationship your family your co-workers place that you choose to work where you live all these things of your entire surroundings dictate what type of quality of life you're going to have so we got to look at it in these senses we have control that is something that we all have control over whether no matter what your situation is that is a situation that we can control we can control our environment where we're going to live we can control the people we have around we can control the habits that we choose to make we can control the actions that we take the thoughts that we want to have you know what I'm saying we can control these things so there's no excuse in that sense you know what I'm saying? The Most High has given us an ability of choice. Animals have instinct. They do things out of instinct. We actually have instinct, but we actually have choice. We have a mindset. We have structure. It's deeper. We are the only creature on this planet that can literally create things. That's how the Most High designed us. We can create our own perspective, our own reality. I hope I provided y'all some value today. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for listening. Just wanted you guys to know, you know, we have control over our lives. We have control over uh, the perspective that we see, you know, the lens that we see our lives through. We can make it happen. Whatever you want in life, you know, it might seem impossible right now, but I guarantee you, if you keep pushing, Keep reading books, keep improving yourself, keep improving your habits, keep creating better habits, keep your health right, your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, all these things. Keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? And watch how things start to change for you. Thank y'all for watching. If you haven't followed me yet, follow me. My social media is going to be in the description box. Subscribe, like the video and we're going to continue on our goals in 2023 guys we are almost in june let's get it uh be good y'all love y'all stay elevated